Hi, this is the Avionics Intelligence Report, and I'm John McHale. So what did you major in in college? Was it finance, engineering, journalism even? Ever wish you could have studied unmanned aerial vehicle flying or UAV flying? Well, now students at the University of North Dakota are getting the opportunity to do just that. University officials and leaders from L3 Link Simulation and Training have signed an agreement to establish a UAV school at Grand Forks Air Force Base in North Dakota. It will be for college students and government personnel. MQ-1 Predator and MQ-9 Reaper UAV training will be offered to North Dakota students pursuing a Bachelor of Science degree in aeronautics with a major in unmanned aircraft systems operations at the center, which is expected to begin operations this June. The Predator and Reaper training system integrates actual ground control station hardware, simulation software, and high fidelity correlated databases in creating a fully immersive training environment. Unmanned aircraft and sensor performance are modeled to support complex real-world mission scenarios. Simulation scenarios, which will include an urban environment, will be integrated with visualizations of hundreds of moving vehicles and people, accurate terrain, and various weather conditions. The training center is also expected to provide UAV training to U.S. government agencies to develop pilots and sensor operators. In addition to supplying the training center's high-fidelity simulator and logistics support, L3 Link will provide sensor operator course development and training. I told a colleague about the school and his first response was, isn't that like majoring in video games? Ah, uh, not quite. Softwares won't be remotely piloting Reapers around campus to spy on their friends. A typical ground control station for a UAV looks nothing like a Wii console, but more resembles your desktop setup with UAV operations controlled by keyboard and mouse. Kind of like the picture to my right. I imagine the job market for these graduates will be pretty robust considering how much more money is being spent on UAV funding each year. Maybe some of them will be operating the unmanned carrier launched airborne surveillance and strike, in other words, U-class aircraft concept set to be deployed in 2018. U.S. Navy officials just kicked off the program, which will develop a carrier-based unmanned aerial vehicle with the ability to carry out intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, as well as light attack missions to support carrier air wing operations. Now, flying that aircraft would be a really cool job, uh, but something tells me the military pilots might have the inside track on in that position. That said, there undoubtedly will be jobs available for these grads in the private and public sector. Rumor has it Google has their own UAV to help with their Google Map application. But what will the pay scale be? What's the going rent these days for entry-level UAV jocks? Will employers pay top dollar to new grads like the big city law firms and investment houses do? Or will a UAV operator's career more resemble that of a trade journalist? High on glory, low on pay. I'm John McHale, and this is the Avionics Intelligence Report.